We're going to be covering how to uh, remove the rear sight assembly from the M60 machine gun. We'll also be covering how to install it. For the purpose of this video, you can see I've removed my top cover and feed tray. This isn't necessary to uh, remove the rear sight. Um, however, I do so simply because uh, you can see it a little better on the video. Um, you can see that I have the gun mounted in uh, my uh, cradle mount. This is simply because we're going to be uh, banging on the side of this um, rear sight to slide it out of the top of the trunnion. And it's good to have it secure in this cradle mount so the gun can't move. If you don't have a cradle mount, I would recommend picking up one of these uh, platform mounts. You can mount the gun in it and you can put this in a vise and it holds it very secure. It's Nice to have them uh, for when you're working on your gun. They're cheap. Um, if any of you are interested in any of them, um, I have access to a large amount of them. Just uh, leave a message in the comments and I can direct you to the right place. Alright, so let's zoom in here a little bit. Um, currently I have a E3 rear sight installed in this gun. Um, removing and installing these sights can be uh, a little bit of a difficult task. Sometimes they're really hard to get in and out, which is a good thing. You want this to be a very tight fit in the top of your trunnion. Um, if we look at this site here, this is the standard site, we can see that the edge down here where it mounts is beveled. Okay, and that's how you know uh, which way your site goes in and out. You want your site always folding to the front of the gun. Now, we're going to go over the different types of sights that there are after I take this one out. Um, so just bear with me and we'll get to that. When installing a sight, it's always going to come in from the right side if you're standing behind the gun. So it's always going to get knocked in from the right side. And we can tell that by our beveled edge on the bottom at the base of our uh, rear sight base. So with that being said, to remove this rear sight, it always comes out the right side of the gun as well. Let's take a closer look at this here. We can see our beveled edge sitting in there, um, that slot on the top of the trunnion. Um, again, a very tight, nice precision fit. Okay. So, what, well, some of the things that we want to keep in mind when we're taking this out and putting it in is the finish on the side itself. Um, you want to use something very soft. I, uh, I use this small little armor's hammer and uh, because it has a fiberglass end on it. That fiberglass is really soft and uh, it, it won't mar the finish up at all. You can also get fiberglass blocks. They'll act the same way. So, let's go ahead and remove this site lock it in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, take my fiberglass hammer and I'm going to line it up on the side of the site just like that. You can see it resting on that metal. I'll try to get a good camera angle here for you guys. I have another hammer here, a nice rubber mallet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bang it straight out the side. So, so let's stop and let's take a look how it looks. All right, so we can see it's coming out of there. Let's go to this side. We can see it's coming out the side of the trunnion. So, over here now. hits and you want to make sure you're hitting it straight out you're not going on any type of angles um, we're lining our tool up our fiberglass tool so it's going straight out the side okay a couple more hits should do it I'm trying to hold this so drop and there it is Again, we can see our beveled edge right here. That came.
came right out top as it was intended to do. So these are the, the three types of rear sights that we have for the M60 machine gun. Um, we have our standard sight. We can tell it's a standard sight um, by this flat blade up top. Utilizes the same rear sight base. We have our E3 rear sight. Um, we can tell it's E3 by this peephole. This is a much better design. It's easier to aim with. This rear sight has a serial number on the side. Assembly 7269278. Uh, not all of these are serialized, but it's always good to see a serial number on it. That means it's USGI mil spec. And we have our M60D rear sight, um, also referred to as a spider sight. This utilizes a different uh, rear sight base than the standard and uh, the E3. Uh, the standard and E3 has this knob on it to adjust windage. This particular D sight, this is GI surplus, but there's no serial number on this one. As you can see, um, here's another example of a D sight, and the serial number is engraved on the top. I'll try to get it. Again, always good to see a serial number on there. So those are our three types of sights, and uh, we've covered how to remove them. You can see there's absolutely no harm to the finish of this uh, because we used a nice fiberglass tool. All right, let's go over the installation. Okay, again, and the key to this is th this gun is mounted in this cradle mount. There's absolutely no movement of any kind when I'm trying to press this in. And you want that so you can ensure a nice straight angle into the gun. Um, for the purposes of installing this, what we're going to do is we're going to lift our barrel release latch simply so it doesn't get in the way and uh, we don't hit it by accident. The last we want to do is bend something. Um, you can see on the top of my trunnion there is a very thin uh, coat of oil um, where the rear sight installs and that's simply because that's a very tight space in there. You know if you get caught out in the rain your gun gets wet you don't want water getting trapped in here and rust forming and then this thing seizing to the trunnion. Not that that would happen but it can. Uh, so we have a nice thin coat of oil and it will also help this install and remove a little bit easier. So we're looking at our sight here. Again, the sight always folds to the front so we know which way it goes in and also we, again we have our beveled edge. So you can kind of apply a little pressure to this and it's going to hold it in place just enough so that we can get our tool on there, our fiberglass tool. Let's start. It's kind of close to the camera, which so I have to take short strokes. Move this back so I don't keep hitting it. You want to be hitting, you want to line this up at the base here, at the base of this site. So we're driving it straight in. Like I said, last thing we want to do is take an angle or something and, and uh, bend something. So let's keep going. Let's take a look. We want this centered on the top of our trunnion. So we can see we still got about a quarter inch uh, to go. And you want to try to have an even amount of space on each side of the base. It looks pretty good. So we have a little bit of space there and on the other side. Sight folds down as it should. Let's close the latch up. And that's it. That's the rear sight assembly. Uh, again, we can see there's absolutely no damage or marring to the finish of this. 
and if you use certain types of materials like wood for example you're going to damage that and we want to avoid it so go with fiberglass um, again if you're removing your rear sight for the first time you may really have to do some hitting on this to get it out one thing I want you to keep in mind depending on what type of gun you have your rear sight may be staked in okay you'll see the stake marks on the top in the front and back if your rear sight is staked in it's going to take a little more to get it out of there and I would probably advise to just not remove it um, Seiko Defense staked it in themselves so why why uh, take it out if it was done at the factory 30, 40, 50 years ago? So that's it. That's the complete uh, install and uh, removal of the M60 rear sight.